If you're into mobile filmmaking, you probably already know that these smartphone anamorphic lenses have become quite popular in the recent times. In no small part thanks to Moment with their Kickstarter campaign. Now of course Moment were not first to the market with these. Moondog Labs came out with their version back in 2014 which also launched on Kickstarter and by the time Moment finished their campaign the Moondog lens was already being displayed at the Oscars Museum next to the iPhone that Sean Baker used to film Tangerine. Now, I'm not really a mobile filmmaker by any means, but I did recently acquire both the Moondog and the Moment anamorphic lenses for different reasons. Moondog lens has a 37mm thread. I was curious how it would turn out if you attached it to a lens on my DJI inspired drone. And I also wanted to try out to use the moment on my phone. I was especially curious to use it on the telephoto lens on the Galaxy S10 as it would result in a similar horizontal field of view as my current anamorphic setup. So I could use it for location scouting or just uh, reference images. Now after I got this, these cheap knockoffs started popping up all over Amazon and different Chinese outlets. So I wanted to see how they would compare with these name brand lenses. Now one thing to note about the 1.33 times squeeze is that it, while it does give you the horizontal flares, it doesn't really give you much of the anamorphic character. And when using just a wide angle lens, I can get the same exact framing even after cropping it to a 2.39 to 1 framing. and it has no discernible effect on the bokeh. So I see a lot of people complaining about Moment using their proprietary mount on all their cases and lenses. And I would actually argue that's a big benefit because with each case they make, they can make sure that the lens sits at the right distance from the taking lens on the phone. I've been doing some tests with these and, and, and having them just slightly off can degrade the image quite a bit. The issue with using these quote-unquote universal mounts is that the alignment can very easily get shifted and having the alignment off on an anamorphic lens is quite off-putting. As far as image quality goes, the Moondog and the Moment are unsurprisingly the sharpest lenses by far and the worst one is, is actually this Capcur lens which isn't actually that much cheaper to the name brands. Now these two knockoffs don't really have a name. I've just been calling this one that looks exactly like the Moment lens, the Moment knockoff and this other one just the AliExpress lens. Now the interesting thing thing about the Moment knockoff is that it doesn't actually have a 1.33 times squeeze. The squeeze is closer to 1.5 times. As you can see in these shots, the framing on all of these lenses is exactly the same. But when I switch to the knockoff, it gets quite a bit wider on both sides. Otherwise, the Moment knockoff is actually the sharpest of the cheaper ones. If you decide to get the, this little Moment knockoff lens, you will have to adjust your image in post to get the right squeeze. Otherwise, uh, your footage will look just slightly off. 
So anyway, to me this the moment lens is clearly the best of the bunch. I do actually, I do really like their cases and the lens is extremely sharp and anyway I hope you found this comparison useful and uh, if you have any questions just throw them down below. If you're interested in getting any of these lenses I'll post all the links below and that's about it.